Hey, what's going on, guys? Tessie Wurzy here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mining tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial, we are going to be covering how you can go ahead and create your own recipes. So, the reason we are doing this is because I'm going to be doing the furnace tutorial very soon, and obviously, for that, we need our own recipes. Um, this was a lot easier in 1.12, sadly. Um, so, we have to go through quite a bit more efforts than what some people may have been used to. However, it's not that bad. Um, I will explain it all as we go. So the first thing you obviously want is a new package for our recipes. And in here, we're going to want a serializer and a recipe class. So I'm going to create this and that is going to be uh, example recipe serializer and example recipe and also i example recipe now this i example recipe is obviously actually going to be an interface not a class and this is going to uh, go ahead and extend i recipe and that is going to take in a recipe wrapper now in here we first want to declare a resource location i'm just going to call that um recipe type id and that is just going to be equal to a new resource location this will first take in our mod id and then it will take in the name of the recipe so that's just going to be example next we want to override the method get type and we just want to give this the annotation non null in here we want to return registry dot recipe type dot get value that will take in our resource location and then we can do dot get now our example recipe can go ahead and implement that class now actually let's open back up our i example recipe here and let's override can fit we just want to default that to false and then we're also going to create an ingredient and we'll call that get input okay now we now we have done that we can go back into our recipe class now the first thing we want here is a constructor of course and in this constructor it is going to take in a resource location for the id it is going to take in an item stack for the input and an item stack for the output now obviously this is where it may be different in your code as you might have two inputs and one output three inputs one output uh, one input two outputs i don't know um, so obviously if you have that you'll have to go ahead and change that yourself but obviously i only have one input and that's the ingredient and then i have the output which is just the result so now we obviously need to go ahead and create some fields for these okay and then we can just go ahead and initialize these now we have done that we can go ahead and do the matches method so here we want to call we well we first want to check if this dot input dot test and that takes in the inventory dot get stack in slots of zero to test the item in the first slot and if it is valid then we can return true and if it's not valid we can obviously return false for the crafting result we can just return this dot output for the recipe output we can also return this dot output the id we can just return this dot id for the serializer we can return uh, recipe serializer in it and that will be basically our serializer which we haven't registered yet but we will go ahead and do that in a mo and obviously that needs to have a dot get on the end because i am using deferred registries and for the get input we can just return this dot input then we just want to override the method get ingredients and in here we can return a non-null list dot from the default elements will be null and then the actual elements will be this dot input now we have done that we can go ahead and do the serializer so we can actually close this class now because um, actually I'll leave it open just so I can import that quicker later so the serializer needs to extend forge registry entry that takes in an i recipe serializer and then this implements i recipe serializer and then this needs to take in our recipe class now we can add the unimplemented methods now in the read method we want to get the output and get the input 
So first let's create a item stack for the output and that is going to be equal to crafting helper dot get item stack. This first takes in json utils dot get json object that takes in the json and then the name of what it will be called which it will be called the output. Then we have here a boolean uh, which will just be true and that's whether it should uh, go ahead and read the MBT or not. Then we can create an ingredient which will be the input and that is going to be equal to ingredient.deserialize and that takes in json utils .get json object takes in the json and then the name of what it will be in the json which will just be input and then this can re just return a new example recipe that will take in the recipe id and then the input and the output then we have the second read method this one takes in a packet buffer first we want to go ahead and create the variables for the output and the input the output is going to be buffer.readItemStack and the input is going to be ingredient.read and that takes in the buffer. Then now we have that we can create a new example recipe again. Now in the write method we can first create the ingredient for the input field and that is going to be equal to recipe.getIngredients. Now obviously for mine I want to get the first ingredient for this recipe. Then we can call input.write and that just takes in the buffer. Finally, we can write the output using buffer.writeItemStack. That takes in the recipe.getRecipeOutput and also false, which is the limited tags. Finally, we can go into our init package and create the recipe uh, serializer init. In here, we first want to create the deferred register. Then we obviously want to create the registry object which is the example recipe serializer and obviously that would just be called example underscore serializer and that's equal to recipe serializers dot register this will first be the name which can just be example and then a supplier now for the supplier we need to go ahead and create a new field in here which will be a public static final i recipe serializer and I'm just going to call this example underscore recipe underscore serializer and that is going to be equal to a new example recipe serializer and then we can just use a supplier use that in the supplier right there now we can obviously go into our main class and just register that now we have done that we can obviously go into our recipe class just import our init and now I don't okay so guys one thing I did forget to do we need to go ahead and create an I recipe type so to do that we can create a public static final I recipe type this needs to take in our recipe and this is going to be called uh, example underscore type and that's going to be equal to register type and this will just take in our I example registry dot our type ID now obviously we do need to go ahead and create this register type method and we're actually going to create a little class for this so that will be a private static class and we'll call that registry type and in here we'll use some generics and we will say that t extends i recipe and this needs to just implement i recipe type and that just takes in t and then in here we just need the to string method and in there we can just return registry dot recipe type and dot get key that takes in this and then we can do dot to string and now in our register type method we can just return registry dot register and that just takes in registry dot recipe type then it takes in the id and then it takes in a new recipe type and finally we just need to make sure we cast this to t I don't actually have a way to test this but now we can go ahead and create our json so let's just go into our data package into our mod id uh, into the recipes package and in here we can just create a new package and this will be called dot example 
and in here will be all of our recipes for our example recipes so I'm going to create a new one and show you what the layout should look like so for this one I want the input to be gold ore and I want the output to be a never star I'm just going to call this recipe uh, never star and you do need to make sure that is a JSON of course now in here we first need to declare the type this will be uh, our mod ID colon and then the recipe name then we can declare the output and in here we just put the item alternatively uh, well no for the output you can't use a tag uh, but you can do item and then you can do uh, count if you wanted to uh, but I'm not going to mess with count for now so the item that I want to output is going to be minecraft never star then we want the input where the item will be whatever the input item is which is going to be for all me uh, it's going to be gold ore now that should be it so if we run the game it should work however obviously I don't have anything to test it with at the moment so I'm going to hold that to another video so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye welcome to fucking I will now show you fucking a beautiful village situated on the doorstep of the Austrian Alps. The villagers I've spoken to all share the same love for fucking. Yes. Fucking may be enjoyed in various angles. Straightforward, from behind, standing up or lying down. And last but not least, it's very enjoyable in the air. Historically, fucking was mostly popular amongst men, but during the 20th century, women have also come to love fucking. One of the reasons being the growing of fruits and vegetables, such as bananas, cucumbers, and perhaps corn. Behold the fucking church, of course, Catholic, with the priest currently away taking up a missionary position in Congo. Here we have the fucking school, where the fucking children learn everything there is to know about fucking. It gets in the Schule? Yeah, zusammen. Uh, zusammen. I must say, I more and more enjoy fucking children. They are really polite and so innocent. Sehr schön. And this is the special fucking farm, where if you spend enough, you can rent your very own fucking horse. Oh, look at the black one. Such a stallion. Beautiful animals. And here, a woman who prefers fucking outside with the family dog. And I was lucky enough to meet the town mayor, commonly known as the motherfucker. If you're looking for the deepest fucking experience, I recommend this hole right here. Start with putting two fingers in. If possible, use your entire fist. In summertime, you can actually go elbow deep. <clears throat> it is a bit dirty. It it smells quite peculiar, but afterwards you'll reap the rewards of feeling this fantastic fucking soil. And that was all the fucking we had time for, 